You know, I think as far as data, we are supposed to conclude. I cannot talk. We have five minutes in hand, and I have something to get off my chest. I know you all would like to go home early, but there is something that is weighing me down, and I think this five minutes I am going to take. Make I am going to take five minutes of your life to get something off my chest. Last week, there was a news item from Kerala. One girl, she had studied excellently well and scored A plus in all her 10th grade exams, committed suicide on her 11th day. Why? Because she felt that she was addicted to mobile phone. And she, her thoughts went down and she committed suicide. Why do children commit suicide? Do you have an answer? You are all children. Do you know why? Yeah. They gave up. Yes. What makes them? What triggers them? What really happens? Yes, please. Mental damage. Mental damage. Mentally. Yeah, mental damage. Yes, exactly. Yes, please. Overthinking. Over. You're all right. Now, how to get out of it? Okay, other than what, what, what do you want to say? Uh, sir, you just hope and faith is broken. Faith is broken. Faith is broken. Faith is, exactly. You're all right. But the question here is, yes, yes, you can. What is that? So, right, right. Now the thing is, okay, they couldn't. Now the thing is, what is the antidote for it? All right. It usually happens like this. There is a disappointment or a failure, and that sets off a chain of thoughts. And this chain of thoughts can go two ways. And in the wrong cases, what happens is that the children think that it happened to me because I am inherently bad. They feel ashamed. Once a person feels ashamed, what happens to them? They lose their energy. So the first time that they did it something a little bad, the next time they do not feel the energy to do it even at that level. So it is going to be a sliding curve. And when it slides the next time, what happens to them? They feel, I am sure, it is something definitely something wrong in me. And what happens? It goes in a downward spiral. And at the end, they get depressed. And some people turn to violence, as you have seen in the US school shooting. And some take their own life. This is because they feel, they fail, because they are inherently deficient. That is, they feel ashamed of themselves. This is one way the thought can go when you are met with failure or disappointment and that need not be. Thing is, there is another way to think about failure. You can think, I failed because I did something wrong. There is nothing inherently wrong in me, but there was something that I did that went wrong that caused my failure and I will try to correct it. You know a person who did like that? Emperor Ashoka. After the Kalinga war, what did he feel? I did something wrong. I am going to correct what I did. All the greatest winners in this world, if you look at them, they didn't possess any extraordinary intelligence. All that they had is, I am going to get there. I will work for it. And those people who decide that I am going to work for the improvement, what will happen next time when they try to do it, they will be improved just by a little bit. Even if it is just by 1%, what will happen the next time? They will improve by 2%. Imagine they are improving every day by 1%. Can you imagine at what level they will reach at the end of one year? 365%. Actually 38 times. Means if your capability is at this level today, at the end of one year, if you are improving just by one percentage per day, it will be 38 times like this high. This is just a subtle change in your thinking that will take you there. Never ever think when you fail that you fail because there is something inherently wrong or deficient in you. Because I can guarantee you one thing. All of you are going to fail someday in life. You will fail. At that time, what are you going to think? What will you think? Go high. Come up. 
Yes. Yeah. Sure, right? Yeah. Absolutely. So you have to, at that point, you need to think that I am going to work and there was, I failed because I did something wrong. But there is going to be someone in your life who will come and tell you, you failed because you are not good. There is something bad in you. There is no point, even if you try, because your capability is only limited, you are not going to reach anywhere. Somebody is going to tell. It might be even a teacher, a parent, a friend, or an enemy. Somebody is going to tell. At that time, what would you think? I will give you the answer. Any person on earth does not have the knowledge or capability or skill to predict what will happen tomorrow. Have you heard of J.K. Rowling? Okay, she was an impoverished woman without, she was living on government handout. She wrote the first script and do you know how many publishers rejected her first novel? Can you imagine a publisher rejecting her first novel? How many? Eleven. Eleven, yes. The twelfth publisher only accepted and he became a billionaire. What would have happened if J.K. Rowling thought that when the 10th publisher rejected her book that it is because something wrong in my novel that all these publishers are telling me no and if she had stopped trying. This is not only true with J.K. Rowling. So many people have told Albert I, uh, Thomas Edison that you are not good. And what happened with this electricity and light because Thomas Edison chose not to believe in what those people told. I am telling you, whoever is going to tell you that you are bad, those people are stupid. Keep it in your mind. Whoever it, it may be. Even if somebody tells you that you are deficient, always change that thinking in your mind that what they are telling me is that I have done something wrong and I will work to correct it. Do you get it? Yes. So what is the principle? When faced fail, with failure, always think, I will try to improve. Never ever think that there is anything deficient in me. Okay? Keep that thought in your mind. And with that, I think it is time now for us to adjourn for dinner. Before that, let's go for a group photo as usual.